Ladies and fucking gentlemen, Rosina Head finally responded to my videos. Or video, depending on what's happening. So, um, how did I know about this, that this was even happening? Well, um, simple. Uh, someone who, again, I will not name, specifically name, I'm not gonna drop them right in this, but, um, yeah, um, they sent me a link to this stream that Rosina did, and, um, yeah, it's about 20 minutes, and, yeah, apparently this thing started, this whole thing's talking about me, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna assume they're gonna respond to the accusations that I've thrown their way, and, um, yeah, I kind of had a little bit of a, I have a feeling I probably would have, uh, gotten the hint that she responded from other means, I mean, uh, that Mr. Midnight guy actually left the Bob server, probably because I'm in there because of the situation. Uh, someone DM'd me on Instagram saying fuck me for bullying her, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just giddy that, I'm just kind of giddy that she finally fucking responded to, uh, the things that I said, so, um, yeah, we are going to be watching this for the very first time. I just figured we'd do this because don't want to, like, take things out of context, not going to deceptively edit any other stuff. We're just going to respond to the things that she says right on the head. And, um, yeah, let's just uh, go into this. Uh, we're going to be watching it in the mini player mode because I don't freaking know. Okay, I'm kind of shivering at the moment, so I apologize if um, things I say sound kind of weird, but, um, yeah, we got the uh, audio turned up to about half volume. Let's finally watch this fucking video. So, um, let's see how we are doing. Um, hi, hi, Alex Matthias. How are you doing? Okay, so uh, if any of this, like, stuff happens, like, the setting up stuff goes on for too long, I will edit that part out, just, we'll jump straight to the point where she starts responding to my arguments, so, yeah, anyways, just figured I'd preface that, so, yeah, if it goes on any longer, see you when we get to the freaking responses. Dealing with a certain individual, um, oh, hey, animated belated, um, nice to see you here as well. Um, yeah, hi, this is Kelly Oka Fan 2002 here, and today we're going to go through a current situation that's happening right now with me. Basically, um, yeah, if you haven't noticed, well, some of you might have if you're on Discord, you know, um, yeah, someone named Malachi Branch thought that they could make a, a video slandering me, which is a, as a quote-unquote, exposed video, when it's not really exposing someone, is it? Me? Well, I mean, I showed the DMs uh, showing the stuff that I was accusing you of. I mean, I wouldn't have just dropped that video out of nowhere, because, listen, I... <laughs> If I was saying that you were a creep, and that you had creepy behavior towards, like, Sora or any of those characters, and I showed zero screenshots, it would look like I'd be lying, wouldn't it? But, um, no, I specifically showed the screenshots proving my point about, you know, be you being kind of really fucking obsessed with a 14-year-old boy, and you saying that their hair was fluffy, but, um, yeah, anyways, um, let's not get too much into that, into the point where, like, she hasn't even given any re real responses, so, yeah, let's just, let's just continue. Like, yeah, we will watch the video together, and we will take a look at it, and see what we have to say, you know? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, we're going to go through... Oh, hey, Red Green. What are you doing here? How are you doing? Anyways, yeah, I'm going to show you what Malachi has done. Um... Yeah, I'm... sorry, I'm just trying to 
notify everyone on Twitter. Um, also, yeah, hi, hi, Marshall. It's going good. Um, anyways, I haven't been making a lot of videos lately, apart from my Sora ones, because I've been. Oh, oh wait, Ronic. <laughs> uh, okay, again, let's just. Let's try not to be too petty. Let's get into the... Oh, let's again continue. ...active on TikTok lately. Like, I got a... Uh, yeah, we don't take self-promotion from the people we respond to in these videos, so, yeah, we're just gonna cut this whole, like, fucking TikTok advertisement out, because, um, yeah, you can't advertise off of me. Oh, hey, uh, Gabriel Alman. Anyways, yeah, the purpose of this stream is going to be showing what Malachi Branch, who is a non-binary person who I used to trust, right, Malachi, they, um, I, basically, they were being a bit rude, basically, but have, this is how the whole situation started, basically. In January, me and Malachi met each other. They, um, they had a Kingdom Hearts profile picture, and I, I got into Kingdom Hearts at the same time as well. Look, you can see my Sora plush over there. Um, there was a certain situation where I was talking about my brother, right? And his obsession with superhero films and my struggle with it. Um, but yeah, um, oof, I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to hear comic tune. Um, yeah, um, anyway, where was I? So yeah, um, what Malachi did, right? Well, what we basically, we met each other, right? On Discord. Well, on Facebook, actually. He had a, they had a Kingdom Hearts profile picture, and I became a fan of Kingdom Hearts at the time I met him. So, yeah. Um, we were good at first. Like, I invited him to join the Tell Us About It Discord server, which was linked to the Tell Us About It Facebook group that I run. Um, and they, um, yeah. They, um, they... They liked it, you know. Um, me and I got along well with them at the start. Um, for example, we did a voice chat, right? Which which was the usual Friday night voice chat where we like watch stuff on YouTube and stuff. Nice, Kingdom Hearts is owned by Disney. Yes, I know that. I know that. And that voice chat is what spawned the uh, infamous Icy Lolly thing. <clears throat> I don't know if she's going to mention it, but... Again, just for I tell you like that, that the, the the tell us about it freaking fifth year anniversary. That's where that came from. But um, again, just trying to slog through this because a lot of this stuff is probably stuff I may have touched on a little bit in my video. But I don't know. We haven't we haven't gotten that far. So again, let's just try to continue. And I'm still freaking shivering. Anyway, as I was saying, so um, yeah um, basically. Um, what was I going to say? Um, Malachi, we, we joined, he joined the voice chat, right? And we also invited them to the Epic server. So, yeah. Um, and we, we were doing a usual Friday night voice chat and, and we did a joke, you know, in Kingdom Hearts, right? Where Roxas, um, you know, Roxas is a fan of sea salt ice cream. Roxas from Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, we made a joke about that. Um, we we made a joke which we call icy lolly. Like we started calling sea salt ice cream icy lollies. <laughs> it's still a funny joke to this. Well, I mean, it is kind of funny, but not for the reasons you think. Say, um, and yeah. However, when I started talking about my brother, I was ve I was doing an event, right? Malachi, right? They, they thought I was in the wrong and not them when they were clearly being rude. So, we banned them. And then... Yeah, uh, okay, now we're finally getting into the actual arguments and, um... Yeah, already leaving out of the, like all the fucking context for why I even took issue with that in the freaking live stream because listen, they, they they're just saying, "Oh, um, 
we, we banned this person because they thought that I was in the wrong and not my brother. When, um, I know that that's not, that's, that, that's like a gross oversimplification of what actually happened. Because I showed the Discord screenshots, like, I showed all of the ones from that freaking Discord server and that... You know, maybe you were being a t tad bit of a big fucking hypocrite, but I mean, I don't think you have the self awareness to acknowledge when you're wrong on something. So, yeah, like it, it wasn't just as simple as oh, um, uh, they um, they thought that um, uh, my my uh, they they thought that I was in the wrong, and they thought my uh, brother was not in the wrong when. Okay, again, there was some stuff I probably could have said, like, about the, like, I should have probably asked in that situation, like, hey, does he do that, does he do this stuff, like, around you guys, or does he do th this within, like, behind closed doors or something, again, probably could have done some stuff in there better, but, I mean, again, this is, like, really fucking oversimplified to, okay, again, this is just the first argument they brought forth, so... Yeah, let's, um, let's continue. Again. Malachi did a quote-unquote quote, quote, apology video, like, two weeks after, or so, and we accepted it, and we became friends with Malachi again, and all things went well, you know? We were still doing the icy lolly jokes and stuff, right? Um, until we banned them, um, because they... They were acting rude again. This was Is this all you're gonna fucking boil this shit down to? Just, oh, they were being rude. Well, um, <laughs> that's not a fucking argument against someone's credibility, but, um, yeah, okay. I, I guess that's just all it is. I mean, that video that I made at that point, yeah, it was a bit of a dumb move to make. Probably could have, I don't know, went down it better, but, again, this was... <laughs> Again, just the fact that you people boil this down, sh this shit down to being rude, like, you guys give way too much of a fuck about kindness, like, so much so where the, it'll just blind you from the, what actually happened in these situations, but, again, I don't really think you care about, like, nuances of any situations like these, you just care about if, hey, is this kind or rude or not? It's really not that fucking way. Anyways, again, let's continue. For January incident, right? Yeah? And Malachi thought this was wrong. So, he made a community post saying, Oh, I cut ties with Rossi. Oh, you, you've you seen my community posts. I, I had no idea you actually saw those. But, um, yeah, at the end, let's continue. Ahead. Well, I cut ties with Kony Oka fan 2002 because of what she did, you know? And and they were talking about my my special interests, my hyperfixations, calling me a hypocrite, you know. Um, and then Malachi made a community post, disowning everyone, literally anyone who has hyperfixations or special interests. No, you lie! You lie! Well, um, okay. I don't know if you saw the most recent community post that I made, but um. Yeah, I made, literally made one about eight hours ago, I think even before this stream even went live, saying that, hey, not all hyperfixations are, like, not all people with hyperfixations are created equal. Also, that, that's a straight up lie. I, n I never disowned everyone that has hyperfixations or special interests. I mean, Flora or By Mini Edge, they've specifically used the hyperfixation and special interest term, but after this happened, I still associated with them, I still associated with people like Flora, and, I mean, you say that I disowned everyone, um, I don't know many people who actually use the hyperfixation term outside of Flora, so, yeah, I don't know if that's exactly the, um, the case, really, but, um, yeah, anyways, yeah, again, let's take a look, or let's continue, okay, we're gonna be saying let's continue a lot, because they gotta stop it nearly every fucking turn, but, um, yeah, let's continue. And I think this is wrong to people in the autistic community. I think what Malachi has done, I think Malachi has hurt the autistic community. Jesus fucking Christ.
Wait, hold up a minute. Did, did, did I, like, did I preemptively forget this shit in one of these videos? Um, did I say in, like, this one, Rosina had explained how perfect she is? Like, in that one, did, did I, did I make fun of the fact that she uses the autism card as a defense? But, like, if I did... This pretty much predicts it, and also you saying, Oh, Moakali Brunch has hurt the autistic community. No, I haven't hurt the fucking autistic community. Just because I dislike, really dislike one person who just so happens to be autistic, that does not mean that I am against everyone in the uh, fucking autistic community. And also, how about you actually explain how the shit that I'm doing is harming the autistic community? It's like, you think people with autism are in, like, a fucking hive mind, and they're, like, the freaking avatar, they have, like, a system that they connect through, through the trees or some shit, or maybe we're all, all, like, fucking avatars, and we're all, like, passed down from generations, and we carry the same, like, experiences through each other, but, no, believe it or not, it's not like that, because me and you, yeah, we both have autism, but we have very different worldviews on things, so... Yeah, don't try to play this whole fucking autism defense, which I'm pretty sure, again, I've preemptively debunked before. I mean, you seem to be talking about, like, the first video that I made on you, but you didn't uh, look at the How It Explains How Perfect She Is video yet, or who knows, maybe, maybe we might get to that eventually, but, um, yeah, again, this is a 20-minute stream. I don't know exactly where we are in it, but, um, yeah, let's continue. Really badly, you know? I, I'm not kidding when I say this, literally. Like, I, I was I was going to a convention, right? Um, it was the day before I went to Bristol Comic Con that Malachi started acting rude to me and stuff. Again, will you stop fucking using the whole, oh, they acted rude to me. That, that's not a fucking argument. Again, that doesn't, like, the, the, the throwing in of rude doesn't, that, that doesn't do anything. That just... Okay, again, let's move on. Um, and they, um, started, then they cut ties with me, um, when I left for Comic-Con. Like, when I got back from Comic-Con and was showing off everything I got from the con, including my cosplay, that was in my Sora cosplay, um, Malachi, um, I'm trying to think now, what did he say? Cool! Okay, um, I guess, um, what did Malachi do? What did Malachi do? Oh, wait, they said that they cut ties with me, which really angered me, but... You know, I gotta thank Bob the Seether fan for convincing me to do that, like, is this how they reacted to me, me to me cutting ties with them over that, or, and you know what, uh, ignoring that little thing... I just figured I'd respond with this, you know, maybe if you didn't want some of the cut ties with you when you were going on a con, maybe you shouldn't have had, like, shouldn't have had to, like, a self-righteous prick in the messenger DMs, maybe you should have, um, actually listened to what other people have to say to you, because, believe it or not, you're not as perfect as you think you are, but, um, yeah, again, let's move on. Then again, I actually don't blame them. Oh, hi, little bonk boy, how are you doing? Yeah, what I'm saying is... Malachi has been ableist, okay? <laughs> I fucking called it. I fucking called it that they would have used the fucking ableist thing. Like, crap, hold up. I'm probably gonna use Utrecht to edit this. Like, hold up. Let me, let me get the fucking, like, comment that Crimson Pope pinned on one of the videos where they say, you can't she can't fix her problems, you ableist. But, ugh. oh, this is what we're fucking going down, aren't we? Like, can you explain how my, like, how any of my actions during this are ableist, or is it just because, oh, I'm an autistic person and this person doesn't like me, so they're clearly just being ableist. But, again, like, I made this freaking video, the, uh, Rosina Head Explains How Perfect She Is video, that, that was meant to, like, be a freaking mocking video, but, turns out that video is, uh, preemptively predicting some of the shit you're saying, so, um, yeah, anyways, um, let's, uh, let's, uh, move on. So, yeah, um, and then, a month later, before I went to, to another con, I went to Somerset Comic Con, Malachi, um... 
yeah, that 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 was a really bad move on my part, by the way. Um, yeah, that that really just showed how freaking spineless I was at that point. So, yeah. Um, let's wait, wait, wait. Let's listen to what she has to say about that. I didn't accept it, so. Yeah, I kind of figured. I mean, I didn't even get a response at all. So, yeah. Again, let's just uh, continue. Then I um. What I did, well, I didn't accept it, but then recently, two months later, they, um, they did a quote-unquote exposing video out of me, which has no proof to anything at all. You know, I literally showed, like, multiple fucking screenshots about that stuff, right? Like, like when I made the claim that you were obsessive over, over Sora, and even the... Even the one where I said you were a pedophile, like, I showed the fucking messenger DMs, like, I showed, like, how freaking, how many freaking sore gifts you sent me, and how much, like, shit you talk about them on pretty much the fucking daily, uh, even the point where you, even the part where you said that, you know, Sora's hair was fluffy, like, yeah, don't try to claim that I didn't show any proof, and crap, when I was talking about how much of a fucking narcissist you were, and... The whole, can't you be more positive shit? Like, I had, I showed a lot of fucking DMs in that one. And I showed a lot of those Discord messages. And not only did I just do that through video format, but I also did uh, multiple freaking videos. Or multiple, showed multiple of them in um, the community post. And I mean, you also have this banner right here. Yeah, like, all of this stuff... I showed the freaking screenshots, so don't try saying, Ew, they showed no proof behind their claims. Yes, I fucking did. Sora's a good character from Kingdom Hearts. I agree. Um, anyways, yeah, um, yeah, Sora's my favorite character. Um, yeah. So, um, okay, back on topic. So, Malachi has outright called... Yes, I am aware, thank you for telling me, little bonk boy. Um, anyway, what Malachi has done, right, has called my special interests, my hyperfixations, outright, downright creepy. I mean, they are. Like, let's just, like, let's just be real here again. Just, like, if these were just, like, normal special interests or hyperfixations, um... You probably wouldn't want to pet the hair of someone who's about, like, six years younger than you, but... I mean, yeah, maybe if you didn't want to be called uh, creepy for your hyperfixations, then... I don't know, maybe maybe don't be creepy, but, um... Yeah, also, I have the original response video uh, up on the main page if you guys want to watch that. If you haven't, if you want to just stay kept up to date with this stuff, so... Um, yeah, let's just, um... Again, let's continue. And I cannot tolerate that. This is just like the Ryan Vaux situation all over again. Compare it me to fucking Ryan Vaux. Like, what, 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 what else is there really to say about this stuff? I mean, there's a difference between what I'm doing and what fucking Ryan Vaux was doing back in those times. Um, I don't exactly remember what he did, but I think, like, he got exposed for some racism and other things like that. Whereas with me... I'm just showing the world how much of a fucking piece of shit you are, including for the stuff about fucking Sora and, like, your, re again, really fucking creepy hyperfixation shit, which, again, there is nothing inherently wrong with having hyperfixations or special interests. It just depends on how you handle them. Okay, now it's D'Angelo Wallace made a video, but, um, yeah, we're, we we'll, we'll, we may watch that later, um, but, yeah, we're dedicating this to fucking Rosina. Anyways, um, yeah, it, 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 okay, before we do actually, uh, um, pause the video and continue, um, yeah, I feel like they use, like, Ryan Vo as just a, uh, medium for, like, any person that's said bad things or done things to them. They just think about stuff like, oh, oh, uh, this person is, uh, showing examples of me being a fucking weirdo, so who do I compare them to? Oh, yeah, let's compare them to the racists, but, again, they tried claiming I was fucking ableist with, uh, no proof whatsoever, so, yeah, what, what is, what is there to really expect at this point? Anyways, let's move on. I kid you not, 
This is like the Red Bull Shadow situation all over again, you know? Um, hey, Rossi, I'll be doing mashup videos like you do in Eli. Cool! Anyways, yeah. So, we're going to watch the video that Malachi has done. Oh, she's responding to the actual video. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be pretty fucking... Uh, this is gonna be pretty fucking banging. So, um... Yeah, let's, um... Let's... <laughs> Okay, okay, there's gonna be a level of irony to this. We're gonna be responding to the video, responding to my video, and we're they're gonna be watching it. So, yeah, let's um, let's get on to that shit. Um, so if I go to share my screen, um, guys made. Ladies and gentlemen, hello, welcome back to the Malika Bridge channel, and today the tea is fucking hot. I am Yeah, of course it is hot. Because you started it, mate. <laughs> yeah, you started this situation. Well, I'm actually technically the started from your little fucking event talking about your brother, but I mean, again, let's just let's just uh again continue. I'm so fucking hyped to do this video. So what are we doing? Well I'm so hyped to do this stream. Well, um, I don't even think I need to say yeah, but you know what? Fuck it. We're, we'll say it. We're doing another. We're doing a fucking video on um, Kalioko fan two thousand two. Yeah, right. Or... You you think you can do this, right? <laughs> you think you can do this to me? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. It's just that the the, the, the shit is pretty fucking laughable. Anyways, um, yeah. Again, let's let's continue. As you know her by Rosina Head. So um. Yeah, you know what? I don't fucking care that I said I'm not going to do drama content. You know what? I do Oh, not... boy. You are in for a treat, DJ. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Malachi is at it again. <laughs> fucking care about that. I am really fucking hyped to show you people uh, just the exact type of person she actually is. So, um, yeah, you know what? Let's get into the video. And uh, first, I'll give you guys a bit of an or people, a bit of an introduction on who this person is. Now, there may be like a 0.5% chance you have no idea who she is, but um, to give a short description of her, she is a 20-year-old British girl. I'm not 20 yet! I'm turning... Okay, yes, I know, I didn't get it exactly fucking right. It's not really that big of a fucking deal, but yeah, let's continue. 20 next month, Malachi! Don't you get it? Who has a Kingdom Hearts and Iron Kid obsession that makes my Formal Alchemist and Avatar obsessions look like I'm just a casual fan. Now, her really liking Kingdom Hearts and Iron Kid, that's not my main contention with her, or even really one of the biggest ones. To put it bluntly, before we actually uh, show the receipts that I got, she is a big fucking self-centered sack of shit, and- How am I self-centered?! <laughs> You know, that's kind of ironic, because, um, yeah, you know, um, I love how you responded to that point, like, right before anything even happens, but, yeah, again, let's continue. You're the one who's self-censored. You said, like, um, like, the things you said about people having hyperfixations, you know? I can bring that up. Hang on. Let me disable the stream. Hang on. What Malachi has said to us, you know, um to the autistic community about hyperfixations. Okay, so uh, this is a little note I'm throwing into if into the uh, editors. Yeah, like I'm editing when I'm editing the video. Um, yeah, they keep trying to direct like my claims that I'm directing it towards the autistic community when um I never said to you the term autistic or implied it at all during any of those freaking uh, community posts. She's throwing that in there to discredit me and. Again, I feel like what this is actually trying to do, instead of trying to respond to the claims, see, she is instead trying to, instead, discredit my, me, and go after my credibility, rather than respond to the accusations that I threw at her. And, um, yeah, kind of fucking pathetic. Like, I showed several fucking screenshots proving what I was saying about you, and you're only, well, hyperfixated on trying to just go for random fucking community posts and Facebook posts that I made to try and, again, go after my credibility instead of, you know, responding to the accusations that I threw towards your way. And, 
again, uh, also, let's just state this right here. Um, Rosina Head and her friend, little friend group, they do not represent all autistic people. And this is what I hate. They think that they represent all autistic people when they do not. They do not represent every autistic person in the community. Also, to add even more to the point out the, uh, the autistic defense that she consistently uses, she's trying to imply that because she's autistic, none of the stuff that I said about her is right, and that I'm just going after this poor, sweet, innocent person and being such a big, bad ableist, when, well, in newsflash, Rosina, you being autistic does not excuse any of the shit that you did. No, it doesn't. And I know that's kind of hard for you. Okay, and now I know it's kind of hard for your uh, self-centered little brain to process, but no, b believe it or not, people with autism can do really bad things. So, yeah, anyways, also, you know what, how about we throw this in here? So, she's hell-bent on using the autistic defense against me saying that I'm an ableist when I'm just in me being autistic it doesn't even matter because, you know, if it's someone that I don't like, then I then, like, this defense only applies to me. You know, it can't be flipped around and be pointed show to show your hypocrisy on something, but anyways, enough venting in this mini-segment. Now it's time to, again, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Okay, again, will you stop bringing up specifically the fact that they're autistic? Like, yes, you may have autism, but that doesn't mean that, like, autistic people are inherently incapable of responding to criticisms or... You know, thinking for themselves, you know, that thing. But, um, yeah, let's see the proof that I'm so self-centered. Well, their pronouns are they, them. They're non-binary, so... You know, this is the problem with doing videos in, like, this live type of format. Um, yeah, there's gonna be naturally some really dead fucking space. Like, that's why... When I did my video on you, I did a pre-recorded type thing. I just decided to grab all the evidence that I could. Um, yeah, there was like one point towards the end where I was struggling to find like the screenshot. But um, the thing is, I paused the audio recording in my app so I could go find it. And then resumed it. Like, again, just... <laughs> Anyways, um, again, let's uh, continue. Okay, again, I'm fucking shivering a lot. But again, that doesn't really matter the most. Anyways, let's continue. Look, another, this is one of the things that Manakai has said to me after I cut times with them in, um, in March, okay? So, look, this is what they said about me. Okay, hold up, what, what does this even say? Like, hold up, let's, we, we gotta fucking zoom in on this shit, um, okay, is there a way to increase the audio to 240p, Jesus fucking Christ? Okay, um. Yeah, okay. So after some thinking, I don't want to be friends with Rosina Head. After my video I made on her, she decided to DM me on Messenger. She straight out accused me of trying to expose her in my video, which I wasn't. Yeah, again, at that time, wasn't trying to expose anything. Because, I mean, if I was going for a full-on exposed video... I would be showing the fucking receipts, but you see, the thing is, at that time, I did not, but this time we did, so, yeah, um, let's see what they have to say. Right? After, uh, alright, so after some thinking, I don't want to be friends with Rosita Head, after my video I made on her, um, she decides to DM me on Messenger, she straight out of the gate accused me of trying to expose her in my video, which I wasn't, well, you were, and you're still doing it. <laughs> Yeah, again, uh, apparently I was always trying to uh, expose Rosina. I mean, in the first video, again, it was just like a fucking giant-ass still image of Iron Kid. In the next one, yeah, we got a still image of Zuko, but that's not the whole video. That one we were showing screenshots in and showing DMs about, so... Yeah, again, just maybe you should uh, think about the uh, fact that um, maybe not every video talking about you in a negative light is trying to expose you and that not everyone's out to get you. But, um, yeah, again, I don't think that you really grasp that, so, yeah, let's, um... And what followed was her lecturing me about how I need to stop being so negative. Well, you do, Malachi! And straight up vilified me for talking about personal issues in my videos! Well, 
You shouldn't keep doing it. It's not healthy for you, Malachi. And you know, it's also not healthy to be, like, positive all the fucking time, but, um, yeah, you didn't really seem to care about that very much, but, um, yeah, again, let's, uh, continue. Seriously, mate. Which, looking back, makes you think more mad now than I first saw my message, who tries to guilt people for talking about their personal issues in their videos? How else are you supposed to get help if no one knows about it? Dude, just have a vent channel on Discord. Do. Okay, so how long were you actually in my Discord server before you realized that I, yeah, in fact, I do have a vent in your frustration. You know what, fuck it, let's, like, go straight to the Discord channel, straight to, uh, right here. See? Look at this. Look at this. This is in full fucking detail. Vent your frustrations. This is a vent channel in my Discord server. And you see, in um, Bob the Seether fan's Discord server, this is where I vent a lot. Like, this is the primary place where I do these vent messages. So, yeah, like, don't try to, like, make, like, don't try to make up this false shit about, oh, uh, they don't even have a vent message chat in their server. When, yeah, I do, actually. It's just that this store is not the only place where I vent about things, because, you know, I'm really fucking open about the problems that I have in my videos. Like, that is that is something I have made very clear before. I am very open about my issues. I try not to bottle things up, but, again, I'm guessing if you're not living in fucking uh, My Little Pony land like she is, then, yeah, all this, all this stuff is wrong, apparently. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's continue. Do it! Ah, oh. Look. Also, she brought up my rant videos and the drama content I've done. Said that's all I make. Well, you do. I do you have any proof that that's all the videos that I make? You know what? Fuck it. Again, since we have my YouTube page pulled up. Uh, okay, when was the last uh, freaking drama type video I did? Um... Okay, I think, uh, okay, this is kind of a turning point. I've done a terrible job at trying to keep this dr channel drama free, but, uh, you know, if you look at some of these videos and, um, you know, use your freaking eyes, that's not all the content that I make, because, as you can see, there are a lot of videos talking about, uh, the shows that I like, uh, here's a Danny Phantom video, um, Ed and Nettie, uh, DVD collection stuff, uh, this very short stream with Bob, um, yeah, they're, now maybe they're just hyper, hy hyperbolizing a little bit, and, uh, my, 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 uh, my big brain, or my big thick head isn't processing it, but, again, that's not really, uh, that's not the case, actually. Anyways, um, yeah, let's, uh, continue again. I've seen your content, and that's all I can see, compared to my channel, which is more variety and stuff. Cool. Actually, yes, um, yeah, trying to say my video, my channel has no variety is, um, yeah, it's kind of fucking stupid a little bit, because, um, yeah, I, I do try to vary my content and crap, um, the last technically drama video that I made before I made the big expose on you was, uh, these two videos about freaking pedophile apologets and Brian Swedish retro tech nerd and that shit. Which, um, you know what, hold up, they might, they might make, you know, they might make another stream talk about my shit, like this response video, I'd just like to ask you this, um, are you still friends with Swedish Retro Tet Nerd? Because if you are, um, yeah, um, they said some really disgusting shit to, uh, Flora before, and, um, yeah, I think, uh, you, um, uh, still associating with them is kind of perpetuating that shit a little bit. About, like, and I mean, hey, he defended a fucking pedophile who admitted to it, so... Yeah, if that's the case, then... I, I don't really know what to say, but, um... Yeah, to put it simply, I do make a variety of content. You just don't notice it, because you only are, are hyper-fixating on my videos that are just talking about personal issues and venting shit. But, again, what is there to, again, really expect? Anyways, let's continue. Oh, in fact... I never thought I'd say this, Malachi, but you are much worse than Ryan Vo. You know what? I'd say that with a fucking badge of honor, to be honest. Because, uh, yeah, if I'm somehow worse than the fucking racist and shit in the eyes of this person, I take that with a fucking badge of honor. You know what? I'd like to thank you about that. And, hey, you know what? You're not too far down on my list, like... You're, like, right above, like, fucking mass murderers and other shit, so... 
Yeah, that, that's, um, okay, anyways, let's continue this. Yes, I said it. Okay, but she only brought up the video I made on her. Well, she also said that she's going to a con tomorrow and I don't want my fun ruined. Well, yeah, I went to a con the day after, you know? Look, which reeks of ego. How am I egocentric? A uh, uh, okay, um, uh, okay, this is probably pretty weird to say at this point in the video, but, uh, you might as well take a, um, you might as well play, you might as well, like, take a shot, and every time I call her, uh, egotistical prick, they respond with, well, how am I fucking egotistical? It, it's, it's really funny, and you'd probably be dead because of all the fucking alcohol poisoning, but, um, yeah, uh, let's, uh, let's continue. Again, I'm not egocentric. So yeah, at first I was trying to tell her to try and fix her problems, but now I realize she's only concerned about herself and doesn't want anyone saying that she has problems. I'm done with her. After this, she's out of my Discord server. And obviously, you can probably tell I'm friending with her as well. I'm done with this shit. Well, I'm done with you as well, Malachi. God, this is getting out of control, actually. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so glad to do this. <laughs> yep. I bet this still isn't as, um... I bet you aren't as hyped to do this as I was to make that fucking video on you, because that shit's been boiling inside for a good long minute. And, um, yeah, I gotta thank my boy Starman as Hunter for being the confidence booster to help me drop all this shit. So, yeah, big shout-outs to Starman as Hunter if you're watching, because I know... Yeah, down in the Malachi Branch channel, we hate Rosina Head too. So, well, at least, at least I like to think a couple of us do. So, yeah, let's um, let's watch. I, again, I I don't think there. How wait, how much longer is this? Okay, it's not showing where it is exactly. So, yeah, we're just gonna assume that um, yeah, we're getting towards the end. Malachi has decided to become twenty twenty two's Eddie Barrett. Yep, <laughs> you can say that again. And Rosina Head has decided to become 2022's Robbie P2 Vlogs. <laughs> okay, I, I know that's ironic considering um, the ultimate YouTube power couple clip, but um, <laughs> yeah, anyways, again, let's fucking continue. I think, I think I still have the screen cap of what Malachi said about fixations. Um... Hang on, let me find it. Um, yeah. So, I'm just showing... What I'm doing is showing you Malachi's true colours about the kind of person he is, you know? Okay, so do you respect my pronouns or do you not? Because you had specifically said, oh, they're non-binary, but now you're saying he. It's not fucking he. Like, listen, I get you don't like me, but that does not give you an excuse to misgender me like that. So, um... Yeah, um, thank you, Rosina, for being a prick yet again. Anyways, let's continue. I'm, I'm still trying to find it. Hang on. Yeah, I, I agree. But, but, yeah, I agree with you guys. The whole purpose of this video is that, um, is to show everyone who Malachi really is, you know? Like, they are a bad person. You know? You know, the crap right of a little bit flattered because you say, I think I'm a bad person. Well, I think you're a fucking abysmal person. So, um, yeah, uh, good to know that. They are one of the worst people I've ever met. Uh huh. Like I said, this is like the Ryan Vaux situation all, of, all over again. Where is it? Where's the screenshot where he said, well, they, um, said about hyperfixations? Oh. You know, fuck you. Let's, uh, let's actually go to that point. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to find my, uh, uh community post on hyperfixations so you can, um, see, uh, um, Oh, yeah, here it is. The term hyperfixation always puts a bad taste in my mouth. There's nothing wrong with having things you really like, but most people I hear who call their interests hyperfixations tend to shut down anyone else 
who's thought about things that they like to talk about their hyperfixations. Not everyone who uses the term is like that, but a lot of them are. Again, that's the thing that I said. Not all of them. Not everyone is like that. Just certain people, including you. But, um, yeah, again, I, if I have, I have a feeling this is what they were trying to freaking find, but, um, yeah, anyways, um, let's, uh, again, continue. And let's see if we got that shit right. Where is it? Ugh, I I'm trying to find it now. Um. Mhm. Mm yeah. You really like Yeah, I think you guys are right. Anyways, yeah. Um, where is it? Um, you know what? Yeah, I think you guys are right. <laughs> yeah, I've got that plushie as a gift for Valentine's Day. Just so you know. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's on their Facebook. Hmm. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's actually on both. Because, um, yeah, usually when it comes to Ted's posts, I post on both YouTube community tab and Facebook. So, yeah, I think it's, um, yeah, and again, you probably should have came prepared to this if you were going to make, like, some big response video. You know, maybe you should have done what I did and put all the like, DMs and screenshots and stuff in a little mini folder, and then we, like, consult back to that in my pre in my prepared video to show you, show the, my audience what you did, but, um, yeah, again, this was, uh, really freaking unprepared. Anyways, again, there's only a little bit left, so let's, uh, see it out to the end. But, yeah, um, anyways, I'm not gonna show you the rest of the video, because, like I said, what Malachi has done is absolutely wrong. They, um... They need to be ignored. They... They are slanderous and, you know, they, um... Yeah, that's just all I can say about them, really. But, yeah, thanks for watching. You know, I what that wasn't nearly as fun as I thought it was gonna be. Cause um, yeah, hold up, wait, wait. Let's uh, consult the um YouTube community tab again. Hopefully, we can. I think this is okay. We easily ran up up here. Okay, where the fuck is it? Uh, okay, I, I started posting about her a lot in these because I uh, yeah, I really do. I really do dislike that person. And um, okay, this one wasn't completely accurate, but it was mostly accurate. I said. All right, yet again, one more thing about Rosina, and I'll be done for today. I think what she's going to try to do is go down the whole I'm going to be the bigger person, not respond route. If I'm correct and that's the case, then I take that as an omission of guilt. She knows what she did is wrong, and she can't be debunked, can't debunk the evidence that's been levied against her, so she's going to downplay the situation for as long as she can. Now, that wasn't completely accurate, but... Yeah, that, that was a big fucking cop-out ending, like... Okay, so what can we really take away from the uh, stream that she did? Well, uh, simple. Okay, um, how many accusations did she not respond to? So, um, okay, um, she didn't respond to the music elitist claim, which is, um, yeah, a little bit telling. I mean, music elitism isn't really, like, a crime, necessarily, so... Yeah, um, may maybe you don't have to respond to that one necessarily, but I mean, it's kind of interesting that you left that out. But, um, you know, the biggest one that we, you know, the biggest one that uh, they left out is, um, me calling them a pedophile. Like, I'm surprised they didn't respond to that one, but, um, yeah, like, that was a pretty fucking shit response video. Like, let's just, let's just be honest here. That is a really bad fucking response. Most of the video, 
Like, they didn't even really necessarily respond to my video. They just watched, like, the first couple seconds of it and were like, Hey, this person is worth being ignored. They're being slenderous. And you notice how they don't prove any of my fucking accusations to be wrong? Like, they just, like, throw all this shit at the wall and see what sticks. Like, oh, this person is slanderous. They're ableist. They're hurting the autism community. Yeah. Okay, I, I don't know what to even say, but, um... Yeah, uh, bottom line here, um, yeah, this video is fucking garbage, and they didn't respond to really any of the freaking uh, video, well, they didn't respond to any of the real arguments that I made, they just looked at me calling them, calling them a self-centered prick and a narcissist, and they just pulled up some random, like, pulled up one screenshot that I did, this one community post that I did, but, um, yeah, again, I think it's kind of telling that they didn't respond to the pedophilia accusations or you, or you, or, um, Rosina petting, uh, Sora's hair or where he said they're fluffy and all that stuff. You know, it is kind of interesting that you left that out, but, um, yeah, anyways, that is going to do it for this response video. Um, yeah, just did it right when I fucking woke up. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoyed my epic 420 no stope video, destroying her ass with facts and logic. Okay, that that, that was pretty. I that, again, that was meant as a joke. Don't take me as saying that unironically. Anyways, see you people in the later video or in the next video.